I have something very exciting that we're making today here in Keto Naturopath Kitchen. Gummy bears. Keto gummy bears. Easter's coming and I love jelly beans. I just adore jelly beans. I haven't had a jelly bean in eight, nine years now since we've been keto. Um, and so gummy bears are a way for me to satisfy my jelly bean craving at Easter time. I used to eat jelly beans because, you know, back, way back then, it was like fat's bad, sugar's okay, and jelly beans had no fat in them. So I had jelly beans. And even my nephew, who was on Weight Watchers at one time, said, oh, I can have jelly beans. It's only six points or whatever that is. I don't know. I didn't do Weight Watchers. So today I'm making jelly beans, and I'm making two flavors. I'm making blueberry, and then I have a tea of uh, raspberry zinger tea, which is, which is going to be used to make gummy bears. Now, I took blueberries, and again, you can see my jam recipes, but what I did was I had frozen blueberries, thawed them out, put them in a blender, then just put them over a strainer and just had the juice, uh, use the juice. So this is the juice from the bu bl blueberries. And this is how we make gummy bears. I bought these on Amazon just the other day, and I'll have a link to the ones that I bought. And um, I never, ever thought I'd ever be using, making gummy bears. So in a saucepan, put in one tablespoon of sweetener. I use xylitol, um, as mentioned before. I'm also gonna try this with um, liquid stevia because I would prefer that even to xylitol. But And then a packet, uh, a tablespoon of gelatin. So one packet is a tablespoon. This happens to be just the Walmart brand of plain gelatin. It's the least expensive I've found. Uh, you also can use Knox gelatin. I've used that, but I was going to buy a package of Knox for this demonstration, but it was twice this, the um, price of this generic brand at Walmart. So I'm like, you know, it's no different. And I also use Great Lakes gelatin that I have in bulk and I use that at times, but for this I'm just using the Walmart pack. So you have the gelatin, the xylitol, and a quarter of a cup of the blueberry juice. Now this is still pretty thick, it's just the blueberry juice, but it's still pretty thick. But And we're gonna take this over to the stove and heat it up until everything dissolves. Blueberry mixture is so thick of um, using water to dilute it to still make it a quarter of a cup, but we'll just make it this way today. I think this is perfect if you have kids and you don't want them eating so much sugar. This is a perfect treat. And if your kids are keto for medical reasons or whatever, they don't have to feel deprived. They can have their gummy bears as well. It does not take long to get it all dissolved. Now it comes this with this little dropper, which I did use and it works well. And I will do that too, but I'm also gonna try doing it in, whoa, if I can get it in which I can't. I made a mess. I did this the other day and it worked fine. Normally you would get 50, this is a 50 uh, gummy bears and you'd get 50 gummy bears, but since I messed up, I might not get 50, so we'll see. So you just fill up So next time, if I want to use this, I would use a funnel. I thought about using a funnel, but the other day I did it perfectly, and I said, well, I don't need the funnel, but I guess I needed the funnel. Because, you know, if something's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong when I'm filming for you all. But see how easy it is? I, I, I resisted making gummy bears for so long because it's like, well, how do you fill up this little, tiny, little cavity and so here you go see how easy it is 
And I know I'm going to get some remarks on the sound that this is making. And that's about all I can get for this. So I, I wasted a lot. It will make 50 gummy bears if you don't waste it like I do. So if you're going to use the one of these, put it in there with a funnel so that you don't get everything all over the place. But now I'm going to make a different flavor. So after I clean up this mess, because I have to use the same things, I'll be back and show you the next version. Next, we're going to be making gummy bears out of raspberry zinger tea. So I, I made this tea. It's one tea bag in one cup of hot water that's been steeping for a while. You want it to steep for a while to make sure that you get a nice strong flavor. So you take a quarter of a cup of tea and I'm making a mess today. One tablespoon of xylitol and a tablespoon of gelatin. And you do the same, you dissolve it on the stove and come back and fill in the gummies. Gelatin and, and xylitol have been dissolved in the tea and I thought I'd show you the dropper method. Well, maybe not. These are the droppers that came with it. I have, I do think that the other method is easier. So I have my uh, funnel. I'm gonna pour the mixture in to this. I did, the dropper was, was um, worked well. However, once I washed it, it didn't keep the uh, suction. So, is it, this is easier because with the dropper you have to, whoops, it's easy. When, when you have just the liquid, it spurts out quickly. So, man, I was doing this by myself and I didn't have this many issues. So just take it slow. You make a mistake, oh well. And again, this made 50. We'll see how many I get today. But it worked out when I did it all by myself. Also, when I did the dropper, it, there are a lot more bubbles in it. This way, I don't get bubbles. You just have to be careful when you first start out because it comes out quickly. And there you have 50 gummy bears. Yes, it looks messy. That's fine. So you put this in the refrigerator for at least an hour. I actually put mine in the other day, forgot about them, and they were overnight. And they just pop right out. So these go in the oven. I mean, not the oven. Oh, the refrigerator. But we, So we don't have to wait around. These are the gummy bears I made the other day. Look at these cute little gummy bears. They will stay at room temperature for about a week and they taste really good. And the whole, the ones made with the tea, the whole 50 or six grams of protein, that's it. The ones with the juice will have some carbs and probably some sugars in it because it's fruit. Um, some other ideas I have, and what you could do if you do the tea, you can um, color it with food coloring. Get a food coloring that doesn't have sugar in it. What I'm also going to try is lemon juice. I made some cranberry juice last fall, uh, canned it when cranberries were fresh. And I can't wait to try it with that. But some other things I'm going to try is just plain water with... Um, I'm going to try with the stevia glycerite instead of xylitol, but also all extracts. There are so many extracts. I want to try banana, maple, all these extracts, and also color them and see how they work. So I'll be experimenting more with that. So check back onto our website, and, and, and I will be adding um, on the website the different things that I try. And if you try anything different, leave a comment and let me know. So. Perfect for Easter, for kids, 
for adults and oh they just taste so good. I hope you enjoy them. Let me know how you like them.